More prayers in East Alabama tonight. Well, over 100 people gathering in Rainbow City to honor law enforcement and to send a prayer to the communities in mourning tonight. CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff is in Rainbow City this evening. And Jamie, in light of all that's happened, what was the mood there this evening? Well, Jim, it was certainly an evening of reflection tonight as the flag here at Rainbow City Hall flies at half staff. Tonight was about the community letting law enforcement know that they care. Somber moments tonight as people here paid tribute to the fallen officers in Dallas and offered prayers for that community, as well as Baton Rouge and Falcon Heights, Minnesota. But amid the sadness, there were some uplifting moments here tonight. I spoke with more than one police chief who told me that they were encouraged by tonight's prayers. It can happen in the small towns, it can happen in the big towns, and it seems to be that, you know, it's good to see things like this when people come together and try to uh, provide support and, and I know for these local officers and myself it feels real comforting to know that that people will take time like they did on a Friday evening tonight to, to show support in a lot of things that that we see going on in the media. Well, it's not just here in Etowah County and Rainbow City law enforcement agencies across central Alabama, in, including those in Jefferson and Shelby counties have reported seeing an outpouring of support from their communities today. We are live in Rainbow City tonight. Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News.